More trouble for the steel plant that leaked toxic chemicals, killing thousands of fish and shutting down part of the Indiana dunes. We are now learning ArcelorMittal missed warning signs a week before the spill. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is always investigating. He is in Portage with what this could mean for the company. ArcelorMittal is guilty of seven violations. That's according to this report from the Indiana Department of Environmental Management. That means the company will likely face some steep fines. The state is now deciding how much the company should pay. One after another, 3,000 fish killed by a cyanide and ammonia nitrogen spill in a river that feeds into Lake Michigan. It was a sight and smell that disgusted people working and relaxing in Portage. After we got out of the water, a friend of mine that I was surfing with got a notification what exactly had happened. ArcelorMittal publicly owned up to the spill on August 15th. Now a report from the state says there were warning signs more than a week earlier when a water damage battery system failed on August 4th. The report says there was no alarm in place to alert operators that the battery ceased recharging. That same battery system had more problems on the 11th, causing more equipment failures and ultimately the spill of hundreds of pounds of cyanide over the next few days. The steel giant didn't mention the equipment problems to the state until the 14th, and even then the company told the state it did not believe that the issue was impacting its discharges. The damage could have been mitigated. Natalie Johnson is an environmental activist with the nonprofit Save the Dunes. Actions could have been taken a lot faster and a lot more efficiently. The company finally reported the spill to the state on the 15th. ArcelorMittal told CBS2 in August that they didn't tell the state right away because they were waiting on definitive test results. But the state's report says from August 12th to the 14th, the company's own screenings at its wastewater treatment plant showed higher cyanide readings than usual. The state says they spoke with the company on the 12th and again on the 14th, but they say ArcelorMittal did not tell them about those cyanide screenings or any cyanide issues until the 15th. You can see the full report on CBSChicago.com. In Portage, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. We reached out to ArcelorMittal to see if they had made any changes. We have not heard back what we will keep asking until we get an answer.